morning, everyone. Morning. Any trouble getting up this morning? No? no? Everyone's all good? Good. I was wondering if you could help me with something. I, I've been having some issues with my phone. I've been, I've been pushing the buttons, but it's not... Like, do you see how the screen's not coming on? What? Flip it? All I had to do was turn it over. That's incredible. Turning it over. It's easy, right, when it's a phone. But I think when we think about our life of faith, sometimes that can be a hard thing to just simply turn over, turn over something, turn over our lives, turn the direction that we're going. So in today's passage that I'm going to be talking about with uh, the congregation, the disciples have been traveling with Jesus. He's been doing a lot of different teaching, but suddenly in this, ch- in this part of chapter 16 of Matthew's gospel, he starts talking about some different things. He says that, and Matthew says that Jesus began to show the disciples that he had to go to Jerusalem and suffer many things. Now, when, when Peter, who we've been talking about for many weeks, when Peter heard this, he said, no, I will not let that happen. That can't happen. What are you talking about, Jesus? So, Here's one place where Peter's kind of getting things a little turned around because Jesus is the teacher, Peter is the disciple. Do you think disciples normally do that kind of thing? Say, no, you're wrong. That's not what's going to happen. I mean, what would happen in school if your teacher gave an assignment and you said, actually, no, we are not going to do that. We are going to have endless recess. (laughs) Right? Like, do you think that would go over well? It would go over well with maybe your, your classmates. But maybe not so much with the teacher. Peter was getting things a little turned around. And Jesus said to him, Peter, get behind me. If you're going to be my disciple, you have to deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. And I want to focus on this phrase, deny yourself. So as as Jesus is inviting Peter to, to turn around and literally kind of get back behind Jesus and to follow him as a disciple. He has this phrase, deny yourself, which I think kind of means we could think of as saying no to yourself. Saying no to maybe the things that you think you want because there's a greater opportunity maybe to love others. I think a really simple uh, example would be like sometimes it's really hard to share something that we want, right? As, As Sometimes as a parent, I've noticed that that can be a particularly hard challenge, you know, when someone else wants something that you're playing with, and it can be, I want to play with this, right, and I don't want to share it, or maybe if I see somebody left out, to bring them into what you're doing can be a really hard thing, and I think Jesus, when he's telling the disciples these things, he's saying, you know, to follow me isn't always going to be easy, but really what we're doing is it's all for the sake of this great love that God has for the world, and that Jesus is trying to show the disciples the, the love that the disciples should have for the world and for the people around them. So one of the things we can think about is what are some of the ways that, that Jesus is inviting us to turn over, you know, like turning over the phone? What are some things that we need to turn over in our own lives? Something we can think about a lot as we move through this season of Lent. I invite you to pray with me uh, before you head to your Kids Connect classes. Turn, yeah, maybe. So I invite you to pray with me before you are dismissed. Uh, Jesus, we thank you for this invitation that we see over and over in Scripture to be turned over, to turn over our lives to you, to turn from the direction we're heading in to the direction that you would have us go and to follow you. Teach us what that looks like in big and in small ways each and every day. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen.